Hello, my name is Keith Duffert with NIDEC. Today, I'm going to provide a brief demonstration of the NIDEC CEM530 specular microscope. Now that we are in the analyze results screen, as you can see here on the right eye, these are the three images that were taken. Central, paracentral, paracentral. You can see the green dot here. If you would like to view this in paracentral mode, as you can see here, this is our center and then our paracentral imaging. Each one of these can be viewed over here onto the left. If I go back and I select the image that I would like to look at more detail, we select details. As you can see here, it's color coded. This is the area, which is our polymagnetism area. It's color coded here in the percentage of the most cells that are determined by the size. If I go in apex and click OK, we are now in pleomorphism, which is the shape of the cell. So you can see here, hexagonal cell, six-sided is the highest. If you want to look at tracing of the cell, just to make sure that the software did trace out the cells properly, or you can just view it as just a photo. If you're not happy with the auto-analyzed results, or if you cannot obtain an automatic analyzed results, we can go into manual analysis. In manual analysis, we utilize the center point mode. Center point means I have to select in the center of each cell. The software will not analyze a cell until it is completely surrounded. Once you have a minimum of 10 cells that are completely surrounded by the center point counted cells, we can go into the OK tab. As you can see here, I have 13 cells. They won't show up on photo. However, if I go into, let's say, Apex, you can actually see where I counted the cells. If you're wanting to go back to the reanalysis, or the automatic analysis, you can select on reanalysis here, and this will be your automatic analysis results. Over here on the analyzed table, we can see the number of cells that were counted, what the cell density is, what the average area of endothelium that was analyzed, the standard deviation of the analysis, the coefficient of variation in percentage, which is the standard deviation divided by the calculated average. This max area is the largest area of endothelia analyzed. Minimum area is the smallest area analyzed. Hexagonal cells percentage is the percentage of hexagonal cells. And then cornea thickness. Once you're complete of analyzing, we can go right into the print and we can print the results.